Red beans and rice makes me think of New Orleans and Mardi Gras. I'm Julie Cassio with the University of Alaska Fairbanks Cooperative Extension Service and the Children's Healthy Living Project. Before starting the cooking process, read your recipe and gather all your ingredients. In addition to that, do any prep work. This recipe calls for one chopped onion. One large onion will yield about two cups of chopped. Brown rice takes about 40 minutes to cook, so that was started ahead of time. The proportion for cooking brown rice is one cup of rice to two and a half to three cups of liquid. This is a place where children can help by measuring the ingredients. Choose long grain, which we are using today, basmati, or short grain rice, whichever your family prefers. Brown rice is a whole grain, so it offers vitamins and fiber. It's in the grain group. Since I have time to cook rice today, I'm making double what our family of four will eat. That gives me enough to have for fried rice tomorrow. If you're in a hurry, try an instant brown rice or reheat leftover brown rice from another day. Start by sauteing the onion. Heat one tablespoon of oil in the skillet, or you can use a saucepan, depends upon what you have on hand that's large enough to hold the sauce. And then add your chopped onions. It'll take about two to three minutes for this onion to soften during the saute process. Beans do double duty in the nutrition area. They're a lean protein source or they could be counted as a vegetable. Of course, the stewed tomatoes are also in the vegetable category or fruit category, so the beans become the protein source in this meal. Brown rice is a whole grain, so it offers vitamins and fiber. So the onions have been sauteing for about two, maybe a little more than that minutes. You can see that they're beginning to change color and release some of their juices, brown just a tish bit. So we're going to add four cups of cooked beans to these onions. Otherwise you could use um, two cans, about 15 ounces each, of red beans with liquid from the, uh, that are, if you can find it in Alaska, the Louisiana style. I haven't been very successful in finding that. Then two cans of stewed tomatoes. If stewed tomatoes are a little bit larger, so if your family has textural problems, they don't, or maybe tomatoes aren't their favorite, but they'll eat a little bit, you could substitute diced tomatoes for this. They could be canned diced tomatoes or your homegrown tomatoes that are diced up. And then we'll add some seasonings. We'll add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I like to sprinkle it along, around, half a teaspoon of salt, and if you're using home cooked, you may want a little bit more salt than that unless you've added salt to it during the cooking process, and I'll probably add about a quarter teaspoon of pepper because I like it. And then your hot sauce. How much you add of this will depend on your family's taste. The recipe calls for five to ten drops, but not everybody who is going to be eating this likes it as spicy. So there you go. We'll cook this for 10 to 15 minutes at a simmer and you can hear that it is about the right temperature. You can hear that simmer. I'm also going to try and break up those tomatoes a little bit as I stir and adjust the heat so it's warm enough to keep it at a simmer, but not too much. Okay, we'll be back when this is all heated through. Wow, that smells really good. If you need to add any seasonings or adjust it, of course you can do that. But now that the rice is done and the beans are heated through, it's time to serve and enjoy your taste of Louisiana.